how can you ever sustain happiness for a long, sustained period, extended period of time if you're always looking for what's missing? You can't. I don't care who you are. I don't care how smart you are. I don't care how much you care. It doesn't work. That's not how the software works in the brain. But if you're focused constantly on what you have and you're feeling grateful for it, it puts you in an energized state where you're not in scarcity. You're not like, oh my God, I have to do this to be enough because you're feeling such gratitude. See, gratitude is the one emotion that destroys the two things that destroy your life. Fear, right? And think about it, anger. You can't be grateful and angry simultaneously. It doesn't work that way. You can't be fearful and grateful simultaneously. So changing your focus from what's missing to what happened. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a time to notice what's missing, to take inventory. But you do that like once a month or once a week for 10 or 15 minutes to come up with a plan of how to close the gap between here's where I am, here's where I want to be. I'm going to close that gap right now, right? But if you do it every day, which